30 years ago today, in Washington DC, in a small hospital, I was born. And it, it feels very, very interesting to say that, you know, I am now. 30. I want to start off today's video by thanking all of the amazing friends in our community for the extremely kind birthday wishes. I have been getting birthday wishes for several days in advance of my birthday and so many today and I am so, so grateful that you took the time to, to mention it, send me a message. I got more messages than, than ever before and it means a tremendous, tremendous amount. Thank you. Now if you've been a part of our journey for more than a year, you know usually on my birthday I open the extremely kind and generous gifts and cards from friends sent to my P.O. box and I cannot begin to tell you how much it means to me to get your gifts and cards. It means a tremendous amount. This year, however, it is going to be a little bit different because I have asked friends not to send anything to the P.O. box from this time until the global situation is over just because I want to make sure that there are as few trips out and about as possible. There's no need for that extra trip to the post office to send these things. It really means a tremendous amount, not taking away from that, but for everyone's safety, the P.O box at this time is not being accessed, so please hold off on any of those cards and gifts. It does mean a tremendous amount, but we're going to hold off for now. Instead of opening up gifts and cards this year, I decided to do something extra special. In the past, when I would open a letter or gift on my birthday, there was usually another letter inside that mentioned that the videos meant so much to you, brought happiness to you in a time where you really needed it, brought the whole family together, whatever it was, and those letters, those Stories really, really made me smile and make me smile for the entire year. These letters and cards and stories mean so much to me that I actually keep them. I keep all the letters that you send and postcards, everything, all of them, just so that in a time where I need an extra boost, a time that I want to remember some of the smiles that I bring, I can open up a letter and say, you know, we, we love it. We're having so much fun, having a magical day, whatever it is, I keep all of them. And I want to thank you again for sending those because that really does make me smile throughout the whole year. These are just a few. This is a medium-sized bag. See that? Just a few of the letters. Totally full. Right there. Just a few of them. Those are the ones that are unorganized. I have to organize the other ones. But it really, it means a tremendous amount. In celebration of my birthday today and knowing how much these impactful stories mean to me and I hope they inspire you as well, I've asked friends to share any stories that they would like for how these videos have somehow had a positive impact on you. On you, what, what was it? Was it one moment? Was it a certain cruise vlog? Was it something that I said or did that made you smile in a moment that you needed it most? Today is a few stories from several of our friends. The first one comes from Molly. Happy birthday! I've emailed you privately in the past, but I'll say it again here. Your videos have been such a positive in my days. I don't generally get to watch them every day, but I almost look forward to binging them even more. Especially with being stuck indoors the last month or more, seeing your joy experiencing Disney takes me there. I've always had a passion for Disney, but it seems to have grown so much more since I started following you years ago. Thank you for being you and for sharing your love of Disney with all of us. It means so much to me and I'm sure our community as well. We appreciate all that you do and for keeping the magic alive. Molly, thank you. From Rebecca, I found your channel at a particularly lonely and difficult time in my life. You are so genuine on your channel that I felt like I had a friend in you. Your positivity connected me with something I loved and gave me hope for the future. The same is still true today. You brought happiness to my darkest days. How can I, I, I can't put it into words. You, this means I can't. I just can't. It just, it means so much. From Shelly, have to credit my sister for telling me about you and your channel a few years ago. She told me I needed to start following you and watching your videos. Needless to say, I was glad I did. Finding more adults that loved Disney as much as we did was something we both loved to see. From then on, it has been a joy to watch your videos each day and some multiple times. Can't help but feel better after you watch them. I'm glad. There have been times over the last year where I have just been in a funk from things, going on both personal and at my job. Each time I went and watched your videos, it helped my mood. Anytime I need a Disney fix, I would just put on any of your vlogs and it helped so much. Then by being a part of the Patreon family, we were able to get to know you even more because of it. Being able to have the live streams, Dreamfinder chats really helped to make 
a sad of a day so much better. I think it's a sad or, or kind of a not so fun day. The positivity you have, not just for Disney, but for life, helps me when I need that boost. It's nice to be a part of a group that are Disney geeks like me. We all are. Thanks for always bringing a smile and that Disney magic to me each day. Thank you, Shelly. Next up from Sarah, I have always been a Disney fan, but as I began to watch your videos about two and a half years ago, I realized how long it has been since we had gone and decided to take our kids and fosters for a two week family Christmas trip. Sounds magical. Since then, we have gone with just our two children after retiring from foster parenting and just recently as almost empty nesters. Your videos have not only reminded me of my love for Disney, but reignited my fire to be there as often as possible. I also have to say that though we have never taken a Disney cruise, you make me want to. Keep up the positivity as you continue to experience Disney magic. Thank you so much, Sarah. The next one comes from Steven. I discovered you in 2017 while researching my first solo trip and I was immediately taken by your genuine enthusiasm and positivity. I've been a Disney fan all my life and finding someone as crazy about it as me was a breath of fresh air. You inspired me to take my Alaskan cruise. Meeting you was the highlight of my last solo trip on the monorail. I remember it. It was surreal, like watching one of your park videos I'll never forget. Hopefully someday soon I'll be living down there too. Happy birthday and thanks for all that you do. Thank you. From Angela, I've been listening to you for a couple of years now. You are a light in this darkness right now. Wow. Not only do we have a business that has suffered 80% declines in revenue since this whole thing, we lost our precious 14-year-old hound dog named Anakin. The worst part was we couldn't go see him in person at the emergency room for three days and only got to say goodbye in the lobby. For two days, I cried, and then when I finally started listening to videos again, you were the first person I wanted to hear. Thank you for everything and happy birthday. Angela, I'm so sorry about your loss and I, I really am glad that I could I could be that first voice after all of this. I'm, I'm glad I could make it a little bit better. I'm not all better, but maybe a little bit better. The next one comes from Thotrock. Actually, my Google search was Disney sadness. I had just got back from Disney in February 2019 and I was down in the dumps. Michael K pops up and I watch the video and the rest is history. I have been following you since that day. I have tried to watch others, but your approach is second to none. I know I'm not at Disney World now. However, you make it possible for me to disconnect from the day-to-day -day job and our current climate and just be carefree. I work from home while the world comes to a halt and most days Mike K reruns are playing in the background while I work through projects. I like to refer to people like you as a good egg. You have an amazing energy and you give me a different perspective and make me a better person. That is so meaningful to me. Continue being the best version of you and making everyone's great, big, beautiful tomorrow even better. Happy birthday, good sir. Thank you so much. This means a tremendous amount. The next one comes from Jackie. Michael, I could write a novel here, so I'll keep it as short and sweet as possible. We found you a few years ago while we were renovating our home. We lived in our very small basement among lots of construction, and it was very difficult, very difficult situation. Your videos literally saved our sanity more days than I can count. Wow. Being able to experience Disney World along with you and seeing your excitement and positivity really brightened our days. Last year, I went through a tremendously difficult situation and kept finding myself turning to your videos when things got really tough. Your videos and you really helped me to stay positive and find the silver lining in things. I've always loved Disney, but in a lot of ways, I feel like my love has grown even more because of your videos. It's like you helped me realize my full potential as a Disney fanatic. So thank you for your dedication and commitment to providing the magic for us every day and for being an authentic and genuine 
human. Jackie, their words mean a tremendous amount. Thank you. Next up from Kiri, I've mentioned before that I found you while researching Disney cruising. It wasn't until a few months later I started watching your other videos. I've never been to Disney World, but have added it to my bucket list thanks to you. You're the way I end my day. After my son goes to bed, I watch YouTube for a while. I always end with you. Your enthusiasm always lifts my spirit and is the final part of my decompression from the day. That means a tremendous amount. My favorite videos are when you've discovered, experienced, or are anticipating something new or a Disney cruise. Your uncontained excitement just makes me grin from ear to ear. Being a patron of yours is a pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful and magical birthday. Thank you so much, Kiri, and thank you for being a patron. The next one comes from Nicole. Happy birthday to the magical Michael K. I can't even begin to explain how much joy you bring with every post, video, live stream, etc. I'm currently unable to travel due to medical issues, fighting through every day. I'm fighting with you, really praying for you there. And the Magic Kingdom is my motivation. Finding your channel while recuperating from knee surgery was the most positive force to change my mental attitude. I, I wanna pause for a moment and just imagine how that makes me feel. All the stories, but just something, something like that. Changing the mental attitude because of you know, a situation like that, that, yeah, I, I can't, I, I can't. Now, if I've had a difficult, painful therapy day, I just have two sayings to keep me positive. Just keep swimming and there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. And you are a large part of that. From the bottom of my heart, thank you and have a magical day. Nicole, thank you for your extremely kind words. The next one comes from Kimberly. A friend recommended your videos a couple years ago and I've been hooked ever since. They are something to look forward to each day and your positive energy is contagious. In these uncertain times, your videos are a bright spot in my day. I know I will always feel better when I watch. I hope you have a magical birthday because you share so much magic and positivity with us. We are all better for it. Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. From Christy, Michael, I'm so glad I found your awesome videos years ago while on another Disney site. Your enthusiasm for Disney is so infectious and I know that anyone who watches your videos feels the same way. Anytime I need to watch something happy, I always go to your videos and they instantly make me feel better and put a smile on my face. There have been many times that I've watched them at work because I needed a little happy in my stressful moments at my job to get me through the day. Thank you so much for all that you've done for all of us every single day. You truly are a gift to this Disney family. Walt would be so proud of you. Until next time, have a magical day and a magical birthday. Thank you so much, Christy. These, these words mean so much. The next one comes from Christine. Happy almost birthday to my fellow Taurus. I feel like I've been watching your videos forever now and it's become regular activity for my family. Thank you. But if I had to pinpoint what brought me to your channel, I believe it was the cruise information. We had a family cruise booked on the Disney Dream for August 2019 as part of a see then land trip. We drove for the first time from southern New Jersey to southern Georgia on day one without incident. Good. Woke up on day two and everything was great. We all put on red, white, and blue clothes with anchors on them. I gave everyone pins that said, I'm sailing with Mickey. And we had breakfast and we headed to the port on a beautiful sunny day full of anticipation. Well, about an hour into the drive down 95, someone in my car passed out. I pulled over in Jacksonville and we proceeded to spend the better part of the day in a hospital and the rest of the day planning our next move in a Panera. We quite literally missed the boat, making the most of it. We booked a room on property for the time we would have been on the ship and our adventure became land and land. Four days into the trip, that same family member fell and broke her elbow and needed emergency surgery in Florida. We thought our trip was doomed. We did our best to make it magical for our seven-year-old daughter, though my stress level was at the max, I can only imagine. Toward the end of our trip, on our way to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, I put the wish out into the universe. I want to meet Michael K tonight. I just needed a little moment of joy for myself during the crazy what else could go wrong trip. And sure enough, to borrow your phrase, as I was sitting alone on the ledge near Dumbo, all decked out in my 
disgust from inside out. I remember costume. There you were. Amazing. You were so gracious and kind, and I got a great pick with you. That was a moment of not only Disney magic, but Michael K magic, and I'll never forget it. I needed it, and it kept me going the rest of of the trip. Thank you. I was already a fan for life, but now I'm so much more invested in you, your adventures, and your success. It means so much, and I'm so glad that even given the, the, the doomed trip, I was able to bring a smile to you. That, that means so much. There are so many amazing stories, but the last one for today comes from Mary and Joel. I found your YouTube channel several years ago when I was searching for a way to view a bit of Disney World during a time when I couldn't afford to go. Your channel gave me the exact spirit of what I was looking for, and I started watching you daily. I watched for several months, including your vacation vlogs. I could tell that you had the same passion about visiting Disney World that I did. I watched your excitement as you planned your trips, and it was like being there myself when I couldn't go. I started to share some of your videos with my husband, and he became hooked just like me. We subscribed to your channel a few years ago, and when the opportunity came to become patrons, we knew immediately that we had to support you. Waves of Disney has become a saying in our house. We feel them, too. We get our wave when we make hotel reservations, another wave when we make dining reservations, another when we make fast pass reservations, and the strong longest wave finally comes finally when we pack the suitcase and head to Florida. We wear our waves of Disney buttons proudly in the parks. We've enjoyed watching your channel grow and all the experience you've shared with us. We've loved seeing your family, then watching you make a big move to Florida, and of course, having you reach a dream to be invited to the Disney media events. But if I had to pinpoint one thing that has endeared you to us, it has been how emotional you used to get while watching Illuminations. The story and the music of that show has always been an important part of any Disney World vacation for our family. For some reason, Illuminations always made us emotional, and we could tell that you sincerely felt the same way. During this unprecedented time of quarantine, we get a lot of comfort and joy by watching your videos, which give us hope that we'll be back someday to our favorite vacation destination. We watch only a few YouTube creators, but we have chosen to be Patreon supporters for only one, and that's you. We're truly grateful to you and proud to be a part of your Patreon family. Happy birthday, Michael. Thank you so much, Mary and Joel. I cannot begin to tell you how touched I am by every single one of these stories. They all mean a tremendous amount to me. This is not all of them. I included just a few here for the birthday video, but Every single one, every story, every time I hear that I can bring you happiness, it gives me so much joy, you have no idea. I wanna thank everyone for sending in a story. Even if I didn't feature your story in this video, I still wanna thank you for it. I read them all. They all mean a tremendous amount to me, so thank you. By watching the videos, giving the videos a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, it means a tremendous amount and it keeps us moving forward. And I wanna give a special plug to my patrons here for making it all possible. Really means a tremendous amount. With so many amazing, motivating stories, there's no better time to quote Walt than now and keep moving forward to the next 10 years when I go over a few hopes and dreams of mine. I have been truly blessed to have the opportunity to share my love and passion with friends and family all around the globe, and in my 30s, I hope to do even more of that. Now with all these plans to experience magic in all four corners of the earth, I am looking forward to sharing even more magic here in Florida at Walt Disney World and Disneyland in California. Now you may be saying to yourself, Michael, you live in the Central Florida area. Haven't you done it all already? Not even close. There are so many more experiences to be had, more than I can possibly imagine, and more will be brought to us as the years go by. I'm looking forward to all of them. Over the next 10 years, I'm looking forward to making so many new friends and hearing those positive stories from you. Whether it's an inspirational story or some challenge you had to overcome or just one of pure joy, these stories truly make the world brighter, in my opinion. Over the next 10 years, I'm so looking forward to all the Disney experiences, but I'm also looking forward to learning more about my new community, Central Florida, seeing both coasts, the beaches, going on nature hikes, all these different things 
there are so many things to do in Central Florida. Now if you've watched the 50 Facts About Me video, you know that many, many years ago when I was younger, I was really thinking about a, a career in the armed forces, more specifically in the Navy and kind of captaining a ship. And you know I have nothing but the greatest respect and admiration for all of those who serve not only in the armed forces, but all the public service industries. A big shout out to everyone in those industries on my birthday. But I was thinking about how it would be really, really cool one day to, to step on the bridge of one of these cruise liners. I know it's not a Navy vessel, I realize that, different cruise industry versus Navy, I totally get it, but I feel like that would be really cool to step on the bridge of you know, one of these cruise ships and just kind of imagine for a moment. Wouldn't trade anything in my life, not at all, wouldn't, wouldn't change anything, but I'd, I'd wanna just kind of stand there for a moment and just imagine. In my 30s, I am so looking forward to bringing smiles to those who need it most. I had the opportunity to be a part of a Make-A-Wish trip not too long ago with Sky Lynn and Abigail, two young girls who were with their family on a Make-A-Wish trip to Walt Disney World. I was so touched that they asked Make-A-Wish if you know they could invite me out and kind of spend a little bit of time with them. It was an honor, it really, really was. And, it was something that just brought a tremendous amount of joy to me. So when I hear the stories, or I see the pictures, or I have these opportunities, it, it makes me smile so, so much. And on that same note, I have reached out to several of these charitable organizations because I, I would love to, to see the smile even more. That, that means so much to me. Now, as you may have guessed, this was not the 30th birthday celebration that I had planned. I had some special surprises in store, which had to be canceled due to the global situation. But knowing that we have another decade and beyond of magic ahead of us, is the best present that I could ask for. That decade and beyond of magic that we experience together is only possible thanks to you. And I make sure every single day to say thank you for being a part of the magic with me. I say it every day and I want you to know the meaning behind that is not only so we can share in the magic together, but so that we can bring the magic to those who, who can't be there, who, who want to experience it, who are having a bad day, whatever it is, we're, we're sharing in the positivity together. And for you and for that, I say thank you. So thank you as always for being a part of the magic with me today and every day. It means a tremendous amount and I'm looking forward to the next decade of magic with you. For 30 years, what do you think? A little bit of gray right there, some grays throughout, a little bit of wrinkles, tiny bit, not too bad though. There we go, we're on our way to the next 10 years. Thank you.